Hey disabled community, I thought I'd take a break from my regularly scheduled programming of disability history to do a disability movie review. Now the reason why I haven't reviewed this movie before is because I'm a huge, huge, the biggest fan of Tom Hanks and there's a lot of positive and negative emotions associated with the movie Forrest Gump in the disabled community, but I thought I'd do something new, so let's get into it. That you've seen this movie. It was made in 1994, so I'm just going to assume that you've seen it. But according to IMDb, it's the story of a slow-witted man, um, excuse me, a person with an intellectual disability growing up in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. And start coming up. Ugh! Everybody in school said that shit to me. Oh my god! If you grew up with braces in the 90s, this shit was traumatizing. Do any of the people truly think this is how it works? Like we overcome our disability by sheer will and our braces just start ripping off? I mean, come on, able-bodied people. Like you, you can't. So yeah, this was me in kindergarten and all those people who were like, run Forrest, run. You can go straight to fucking hell. I love Robin Wright so much, but Jen A, Forrest's best friend, who's a girl who's able-bodied, is kind of a piece of garbage. She leads them on, like, he thinks that they're going to be together forever. She, like, pity sleeps with them. It's like, we don't need your pity. Like, it's just kind of annoying the entire film. So I actually think Lieutenant Dan is an entire mood in this movie. And he is perfect disability representation. He's angry. He's disgruntled. He feels chewed out by the systems of ableism, capitalism, and oppression. He's just like an entire mood. I honestly think Lieutenant Dan would be a huge proponent of disability pride. And another great character who's disabled is Forrest's friend Bubba. He also has an intellectual disability. He's with him in Vietnam. Everybody knows that scene where he's holding Bubba. It's ridiculously sad. Um, he's a black disabled character and he just, he has a dream of like owning a shrimping boat. And honestly, Forrest takes his dream after he dies. <laughs> so like, I just, I'm bothered in this movie because Forrest has no ideas of his own. He just has able-bodied people telling him what to do. Um, so I love the historical bits in this movie because I'm a history buff. And of course, Forrest has a run-in with the Black Panthers. And the Black Panthers helped with the disability rights movement. Now, of course, there's no mention of the disability rights movement in the film. But that I know this was short. I only had three minutes. But give me your honest feedback about Forrest Gump, good or bad. If you're disabled, if you're able-bodied, I want to hear your opinions. Let me know. Let me know.